What's up dudes and dudettes? This is Noel on PC, head of the Experimental Research Division here at the Kerbal Space Program. Well, the only member of the, depending on your understanding of the space-time continuum, well, if you haven't watched the previous episodes, it's a mouthful. It's like lost. You know what? Forget it. We are here, day 38 of our multi-day, multi-week adventure. We are testing, so to speak, our heavy lifter. I have built this in preparation for the International Space Station, the Curb National Curb Station build that we'll be doing in the future. This will be the heavy lifter, so to speak, to get the, the main core up. Getting little armlets and stuff up, you can do them in stages and dock them with uh, clampatrons and stuff, so it's easy work. But getting the main core, if you want a nice big body, that's difficult. So we build stuff like this, this absolute gibberish this insanity pretty cool huh okay so we are going to test fly it i think for the most part i got the staging right you know i walked through it one at a time i haven't tested it yet but i think i got it spot on i don't actually know if it's even going to lift off i assume it will because delta v is through the roof so let's uh oh what are we doing what are we doing we are going to the moon this test flight um, because we're overkilling our payload, there's no payload, so this thing's going to go really fast. Um, we're not just trying to get an orbit around the Earth. We might as well do something. So what I have to do is a little crew jumble. Jeb is going to fly, but he's going to take up two scientists. And those two scientists are going to relieve the moon crew at the moon base. Because those guys, those five guys have been up there for like, I don't even know. I haven't been keeping track of days. <laughs> Could be like 1953 already for all I know. Um, crew? Perfect. First try. Look at that. I'm making my way around. So we want... Okay, so we do have a pilot. We do have two scientists. Good. Good, okay. And we're gonna stick a pilot and two scientists. Okay, two scientists. Boink and boink. We got little Podzor and Sherden. These are obviously fake names. And yes, and we have, we need five seats to come back, so there will be one empty seat. Perfect. Let's fly this fucker. All right. I knew I was forgetting something. I finished staging and I was like, I'm not done, but I'm done. So let's, <laughs> let's start a video. That'll teach me. Okay. So, like I said, I think I got the staging right. I think I got all the piping right. We are pretty much about to find out. So let's, uh, let's fly this bitch. It lifts off. That's a good sign. It's a really good sign. It's flying. These are all good things. Speed's coming on good. Speed's coming on okay. It's pretty badass. It's big intimidating all of the fuel should okay so that one's out and the engine is still going yeah good okay so we got that one right check you know I'm just gonna make notes of these things while we go because there's a good chance this first launch could be an absolute failure we're gonna hope that these engines keep burning when they hit zero They did. Good. Awesome. It works. So now they should all be funneling through these tanks. Good stuff. And when those run out, we can separate away the first stage, which, in my guess, because it's all tied together, should stay together, but I think hilarity is going to ensue when it just bursts into a million parts. All of those different pieces are going to come apart. 
There's a boatload of them there. All those little struts and stuff. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be lag city, but it's going to be awesome. Speaking of lag city, I'm getting nine frames a second. <laughs> this thing is such a beast. It has so much to it. I got no frames. No frames, I tell you. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Will that second stage work? My butt's clenched. Ooh, big explosion. Lots of parts. And we're accelerating. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, it doesn't... I'm gonna turn off RCS. That's just too much. Too much steering. I'm gonna slowly roll over, because we're rolling over really late. We're already at 40,000 meters. But I didn't want to do any turning on that first stage out of fear that, you know, you, we might get a little weird wobble up in the top section. Big tall craft are notorious for that. This one's doing a little bit of it, but she's good. She's good. Okay, we're going to just try and push that orbit out a little bit. So we've got a lot of fuel left. Yeah, and we still have a whole nother stage left, so we could probably land that on the moon. If we're really careful, we might be able to just do the transfer with this thing up in height, like an Eiffel Tower, and use a lot of this to actually get back and save whatever's in here and actually land on Earth with it. Potentially. Um, but, you know, one thing at a time. <laughs> one thing at a time. Aren't I throttling? I'm trying to throttle. There we go. <laughs> that was weird. That was really weird. Okay, we'll have no problem opening up this orbit. Delicious. All right, so something is bound to give here in this orbit. Any momento. This craft is serious overkill, obviously. We are just about to run out of gas, actually. Ironically. Okay, so there's a nice big orbit. Where's the moon? The moon. Hmm. That's a new one. You ever seen that before? Yoo-hoo! Fun boy! It's like the moon doesn't exist. The moon isn't real, bro. You don't even know, bro. The moon isn't even real, bro. It's like lost again show still pisses me off all right so we have an encounter coming up not an encounter a maneuver coming up we're gonna burn like crazy for apparently not that long because we have a ton of thrust we have 22 seconds to spin this bitch around A little burst there that might help helped a little bit give it a little boost we're a 
little late to the node, but that's okay. Perfect. Third stage. Holy shoot. Okay, we're good. We're good. Look at all that fire. I think that's overkill. Look how fast it's going. <laughs> Look at that orbit go. Yeah, that was um that was obviously overkill. That was just unnecessary. Alright, we got a little like, encounter there. Good enough. We'll zip out. We'll autosave. We'll zip out there. Oh, I guess I don't need uh whatever that is. There we go. Alrighty. Now we just got a rendezvous. A rendezvous. Rendezvous by by guess. Uh, okay, we're gonna go all the way around again. It's always on the other side. You think once in a while it would like happen to be near me? I wouldn't have to move very far on the gyroscope, but no, no, every time. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna bend it like Beckham. Beauty. Put that pretty much right down. Let's do like a hundred thousand. There we go. we've got a ton of fuel to burn. Uh, don't have a ton, but we got enough just to play it safe. Because our landing spot's on the other side there. I don't want to land in the dark. So we're going to get into a braking position, shed our apoapsis down a bit there on the other side, maybe to match the 100,000, and then uh, do a few fast forwards and just literally park right on top of, well, hopefully park right on top of moon base. Too good enough. Good enough. It's as fast as we can go, apparently. So as soon as that spot comes around to the light side there, which it almost is, we can park on it. I'd like the sun to be a little high. Good, it is actually in a nice position. Okay, so the sun will be high in the sky, so we'll have a shadow to land with. Because if I want to land this big craft, we're going to have to come in a little hot. Oh, fucking Christ. Just gonna go back around. Push that a little further. Because that, that flag and, and, and the, the base and everything are moving away from us with rotation. So we want to shoot definitely past it. There's no atmosphere to drag us in. And we can do a little bit of air brake. So those are all good things. Price on a cracker. Keep overshooting, undershooting, overshooting, undershooting. This rocket is way too powerful. Wish I could shut all those down. It's 
but I can't because I didn't put a quick key for that because I'm an idiot. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I went past it. How much fuel do we... Oh, lots. We have like half a tank. We good. We good. 5,000 units. We good. We good. We're just not good on steering. Not so good on the steering. Keyboard steering. I should make a cockpit for this game. Okay, that should just about do her. Let's do that. F5 quick save, just in case we have to load from here. Right? Just in case. trajectory looks a lot better. I'm actually going to quick save right there. Okay, quick saving. Because this is really good. I can make adjustments from here. Instead of having to come in hot every time. <laughs> like an idiot. Okay, I'm very close actually. I'm going to get fucking arthritis from this gaming session. This is arthritis inducing for sure. Stay up there, you bitch. Stay up there, you bitch. Stay up there, you bitch. You got this. You got this. Look at you. Look at you. You're magnificent. All right, now before I go fucking crazy, we actually don't have too far to go. As long as they don't die on the fall down. A short, short, short little EVA. What the fuck is that? That is the most random thing I've ever seen. It was like an alien artifact or something. Hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, you fucking moron? He brought out his little RCS boosters and then he refused to use them for some reason. And then I had to bring them out again and then he refused to use them again. He just decided to put them away, I think. This has been a fun game today. I'm having a lot of fun today. <laughs> Can't you tell? I'm having a blast. But at least, at least we got here. We had trials and tribulations. But we got here. Perfect. Take a screenshot. Yay. Okay. Selfie. Kirby. Fucking strut again. Okay. Uh, okay, we're done with that craft. We need this craft. So we need to EVA everybody. Where's the door? There it is. Nyuk, 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 nyuk. Grab it. God damn it. Would you grab it? You fucking dink. You're just trolling me now. You're just trolling me. Stop. Stop trolling me. Getting them all out one by one. Like a circus. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is on the side. Like a douche. Hey, get up. Get up, dickhead. You're going to slide the whole way down there, aren't you? You're going to go all the way into that crater, aren't you? 
Give me one good reason I shouldn't just leave you here. One good reason. Okay, are you gonna do something? Jump, there you go. God damn, I don't want this game to make me have to press buttons like 30 or 40 times before they'll register. All those clicks were just jump. I'm like, do something. Oh, I almost got him right back out again. You dink. Jump. There we go. Jump, Mario. Jump. Oh, my heavens. Backflip. That was intentional, I think. He's pretty badass like that. He's always doing that at the uh, at the Kerbal Space Program. Doing his gymnastics routine. Such a show off. Okay. Um, got two left. I wish you could just... Oh, God. I wish you could, uh, like, assign a role to them, like a task. Like, you know, right-click the command pod and just be like, send to or something like that and then they would anybody in that craft would go somewhere because some of those hitchhiker pods are like four people so you could just click it and tell the four people to you know transfer to station such and such set it one at a time one at a time these are the times of our lives out of the way dink Peter Dinklage. I used that one already. Oh, God, just put, a, put away my RCS. That's never good when you're doing a moonwalk. A spacewalk? Well, I guess we're doing the moonwalk. I overshot. Overshoot. Shots! Ooh, okay. Whew. Almost fell off. There we go. Okay, so we'll just go back dump some of these idiots in here oops how about in the science lab cannot board a full module okay so there's people in there so our job is not done so we have a seat left where's that other guy there he is oof we're good. We're good. Okay. No, we're not good. We're not good. He's an idiot. He forgot for, forgot how to walk. All right. We good. We, what am I doing here? EVA. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. On your face. Yeah. That's their natural habitat. It's falling on their effing face. Would you jump? You fucking green bastard. What is that? <laughs> it still clicked on the thing behind me. It's just weird that it wouldn't, like, know better. Okay, that's full, right? Yeah, that's full. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jump, Mario. Is that one full? That one was not full. Is this one full? This one's full. Okay, so we are full. Okay. Let's do... A crew report is worth no science. What if we got these guys out one at a time and went EVA report? That's a lot of science. Get back in. Orden. That's a lot of science. Awesome. Oh. Gotcha. Okay, so we can only do, like, one at a time. Let's see. Can we put one in each thingamajigger? Apparently. Okay. Yeah, out of the bottom one. Good. Good. And in. Perfect. Okay. And, yeah, there's nothing else we can do, I think, here. 
Oh, I can take a temperature reading. Awesome. Awesome. Doing science. So rescue mission complete. Everybody's aboard. Say goodbye one last time and let's try and get these mothers home. Speed's coming on good, despite how heavy it is. Now that it's full of Kerbals. And Jeb, super happy. Even though he's got no view, still. Okay. No windows? Are those windows? No. No windows? You think there'd be a window? Or at least a screen of some kind. Like a heads-up display or something. We're going to boogie out to Apoapsis, try and make an orbit. We're going to have to make a lot of speed, so I'm going to stop early here, like out here. We have a lot of RCS control now that we've shed that giant bottom stage. So good, we got lots of fuel left. And where's Earth? Alright, so we're gonna make an orbit and then sculpt it towards the Earth. It's nice when you're, you know, coming around and you can actually just go right from launch to Earth and skip the whole orbital phase. Jeopardizing a little bit of speed to just make an easy orbit now and burn for the Earth pretty much right away. So right from here, we're just going to make it round, burn another 20 degrees or so, and then shoot for the Earth. Stop about 20 seconds short. Put it on the blue mark. And burn for the appropriate amount of time. That's okay. I kind of gapped out there for a second. It's like looking off into space. I wonder how many of those plan those stars have planets around them. Probably most of them. I wonder how many of them have life on them. Gilly. Probably most of them. Ooh, look at all that debris. That's from our launch. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. That's gonna take me like an hour to clear out all that debris. All right, we're at Apo. Let's get into a braking maneuver here. This braking maneuver should put us, because we don't really have to land and land or anything, we can dump this thing into the ocean, because it's just the cans. Yeah, fuel's still doing great. See how we can park maybe like Right in here in that desert again. I think we landed there once before. I'm going to bring it down to about 40. That should be enough to catch and drag down to land.
There we go. And if not, we've got more than enough fuel to just do a breaking, a big breaking burn. I don't want to go too fast here because, well, you know. Oh, isn't that convenient? <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. RCS, maybe? I just don't want to enter at such an extreme angle. So I'm going to try and correct that a little bit. Yeah, I have, I have literally no idea what happened there. So we're going to get that parry to at least 30 or 40. And then I can come in. Come in in hot. Good enough. yoo -hoo. There we go. Hello, map. Bonjour. We going to burn? We gonna burn like crazy. Perfect. All right, that should just about do it. There we go. That should put us onto land. Uh, definitely. Okay, so let's bring this out. Oh, we're out of fuel. Let's open parachutes right away. We're out of fuel. So we can ditch this because it's unnecessary or keep it just to see what happens, because it'll be something to land on. I'm going to keep it for now, because it seems to be a gigantic break. Massive air break. Oh, there's shoots finally. Those had me freaked out a little bit. Doing about 1,600 miles an hour. 1,000 miles an hour. 600 miles an hour. 400, 300, 300. Yeah, there's no fuel left in that system at all. I just have mono propellant. Which? The monopropellant actually does slow me down a little bit, so we'll have no problem landing on these legs here. Nice and flat. Yeah, pretty flat. Not that a big bounce would mind. You dick. Did you really do that? What a dick. <laughs> well, Jeb lived but it killed two of the scientists. That's heartbreaking. That's heartbreaking. R RIP, buddies. RIP. Well, guys, I hate to end this on such a somber, sort of sad note, but, you know, I hope you like the video. I hope you send condolences to the families of the two those two poor scientist engineers. I hope you uh, share the video. I hope you like it. You know, do all those things you do. So guys, until next time, and until we collect some more science and shoot for that international curb station, guys, until next time, cheers.